close your eyes, watch your breath, and keep the mind right here at the breath. In Thai they have a phrase to, that really means to make your mind or to do your mind. What it means is that you adjust your mind to the reality that there, there is, and you accept what has to be accepted so you can look for things that you don't have to accept that you can change. There are a lot of things out there in the world that are pretty upsetting. But what can you do about it? And a lot of things you just can't do anything. And if you simply get upset, that that drains your energy. And to say nothing of the world outside, just inside the body, things happen. We get this body and it seems to be doing nothing but getting bigger and stronger and bigger and stronger. Then it stops and then it starts deteriorating. So there's a lot around which we have to make our minds, in other words, put our minds in good shape. And so the breath helps you with this, because it gives you a good place to stay. One of the best ways of developing endurance is to focus not on the things that are hard to endure, but on the areas where you still have a sense of well-being. And from that you can take your strength. So if the mind is in good shape, it's got a good place to stay. And it's a lot easier to deal with the things outside that are unpleasant, that we don't like, that are hard to accept but that we do have to learn how to accept. That's where we can keep focused on our goals. There is a problem that we have many times have too many goals. We want this, we want that, we want everything to be just the way we want it to be. That's not the human world, though. The human world has all kinds of things, good and bad, mixed in it. Because after all, the fact that we're born in the human world means we have good karma and bad karma mixed together. So the world is never going to be perfect. The only perfections the Buddha talks about are perfections that you develop in the mind. You make those your priorities. Focus your attention there. Then you should develop your generosity, develop your wisdom, your discernment, all the other good qualities. You do leave a gift behind for the world, but primarily you focus on the things that you can change for the better, and those are all in your mind. So when you run into something outside that you can't change, Okay, just make your mind, as they say. Do your mind. And then give your energy to what you can change for the better. The breath gives you the energy to do that when you stay with it. So develop this quality of concentration as one of your one of your refuges, one of your sources of strength. <laughs>